South Korea came up with a new technology that uses ammonia to produce hydrogen that creates almost no carbon gas. Now, the method is expected to reinforce the nation's green energy initiative in the future. Cho Sung Min has more. Hydrogen energy is clean and produces zero carbon emissions when used as a primary energy source. But one of the main hurdles preventing countries from going all in on hydrogen is that while some efforts have been successful, the world hasn't figured out ways to completely eliminate carbon when actually producing the hydrogen itself. South Korea currently collects most of its hydrogen by processing oil or other natural gases, which creates carbon gas. To be more eco-friendly, a team of local scientists has used ammonia to create hydrogen without emitting any carbon gas. They exposed ammonia to a special catalyst that's heated up to 650 degrees Celsius. It created a chemical reaction, and as a result, they were able to acquire a type of gas comprised of 99.97% hydrogen. The only emissions are a microscopic amount of ammonia gas, which the team says can be recycled to create additional hydrogen. We're using a metal catalyst with high thermal conductivity. It shows high efficiency because it uses less fuel. The new technology also allows South Korea to import carbon-free hydrogen at a much cheaper cost. While transporting, hydrogen requires storing it in tanks after liquefying it at minus 250 degrees Celsius. Now it can be turned into ammonia instead, which can be stored in tanks at only minus 33 degrees Celsius. Renewable energy is quite affordable in several other countries. We can produce green hydrogen in those places, and using ammonia is the most achievable way to liquefy hydrogen. The team plans to build a facility that uses this technology to produce at least two tons of hydrogen per day in the southeastern city of Ulsan by the second half of next year. And industry experts believe the technology can be the backbone for the nation's green energy initiative for years to come. Cho Sung-min, Arirang News.